Now it's time for the other Tales series staple. Going to the other world. <laughs> this hospital ceiling. It's so familiar. Have you played hey played all the way through Final Fantasy Tactics? Nope. Oh man. <laughs> Cause I was just thinking about big dumb plot twist. You know what you wanna know what Final Fantasy Tactics big dumb plot twist is? Uh your best friend betrays you. No. What is it? The big dumb plot twist is uh the uh the church is is less of a church and more of a cult in that they wanna summon an eldritch abomination. To rule the world. Sounds like every RPG cult or religion <laughs> church ever. Yep. Oh man. Ever. I could name three Tales and games then, with, with that. And then, with that exact thing. And then they throw a last minute uh, sure. <laughs> big no. dumb plot twist. And it's after you after you beat the Elder Horror and stop it from taking over the world. <sighs> There's a cut to there's a cut to a character who's reading a book, a history book of your exploits. Like it's like the the entire game is him reading the history book and the church still won. <laughs> That's fucked. Oh man. Yeah, Al Alan saw his limp, and he's just like, "Does he have, does he have a limp?" And I go, "Yes." I had immediately figured out where this was going. Why? Hey, that's. I didn't think folks from the other side would have seen one of these before. Yeah, it's those. Th it's that thing that helps people walk. Life would be a drag without it. But a tish. I'd have to drag my husk of a leg around. It's yeah, sucks. it's super dead and stuff. Oh, you're probably all starving. Why don't you mosey around while I whip something up? It's your first time on this side, after all. I think I'll make some spaghetti. Do you have spaghetti in your world? <laughs> the, the delicious spaghetti. No, what it needs to be is... Oh yes, I've made some spaghetti for you guys. Do you guys have it in your world? And then it's like, you mean spaghetti? No, spaghetti. <laughs> Alvin, no offense, but we need to murder them all! Uh, <laughs> they Alvin, don't belong in this world! Al Alvin, what is spaghetti? Oh, it's like spaghetti, but with an extra I. We need to murder them all! <laughs> Ah oh, yes, delicious side quest. <laughs> when I first talked to this man, and he threw his arm into the air, <laughs> and I looked really close and noticed that his hand was open too, I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> oh man, it reminds me of how Japan likes to teach alternative history. Oh man, Jesus! That very real thing. I honestly did not know that 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 was a thing, because they never they never highlighted in any like actual media or anything until I was listening to a podcast where somebody who was raised in Japan talked about it. Yeah. Oh fuck taxes. Fucking taxes. <laughs> I think you mean theft. 
should just leave them be. Hey, nobody said that. We should pay their people fair compensation and promise to help them with their development. Pay them with what, though? Our tax money? It's not like we're any better off. Well, you'd hope the government thinks of something instead of digging in It's like, what if we give them money instead of killing them? No, nah, that'll never work. Now they're, I mean, well, th th then they turn the conversation around that they want, like, I think one of them mentions at some point, like, some actual, like, good compensation for, like, but the thing is, they don't know, like, these these are the regular ground people who don't know that their, that their government is literally invading the other world. Yeah, according to them, it's just like, oh, yeah, it's like the government's just telling them, oh, yeah, we're gonna go over there and ask for... It's <laughs> just like the plot to Outbreak Company. Have you seen that? No. Oh, my God. So, you know, it's, it's a better version of Gate. Where oh man, Gate was so trash. So that's like Japan. Over. Japan shows up to the other world on, under the pretense of like spreading culture, like Japan's culture to that new world. Uh huh. And uh, that what's, that, what's that, this called again? Outbreak Company. Outbreak Company. The okay. act of them spreading their culture causes uh, starts causing problems in that world. Right. Uh, and the fact that like. Their world doesn't have like much in the in the in the way of entertainment, and just spreading so much entertainment in their world so fast is causing problems for the citizens, and it's all part of Japan's like <laughs> last tree on the planet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man! But yeah, Japan Japan's plan is to uh 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 fucking. Cause this, cause this civil unrest, and uh, use it as a use it uh, as a part of a plan to take over the uh, the fantasy world. Jesus Christ! Yes. Uh, luckily, the main character figured it out before the plan could come to fruition, and uh, told everybody er, told everybody about it. Did you just say fruition? Fruition. Fr fruition. Fruition. There, there's an eye in there. A non-silent eye. Oh, no. Dude, if you had not said anything, I would have stuck to my... I would not have st stick to my guns as I am right now. <laughs> Alan, there's a problem with your speech. Oh, now that you've corrected me, it's too late. I have to... I now have to live in error. <laughs> <laughs> For the rest of your life, it'll now be fruition. Oh, man. The remainder of your days. Uh, it, but yeah, it's really on the 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 part that break that broke Japan's plan the hardest is that they did not know that the main character was tutoring the princess in speaking actual Japanese. So so how did he how does he find out? Like, does someone just like fuck up? Uh he noted he notices uh, a smaller version of. He notices a small incident uh, that he realizes is related to what uh, to what he's doing, and then he asks the government or he asks the government official about it, and the government official just tells him about it because he doesn't think that he's that he can do anything. Oh, but because he has a direct relation to the princess. Well, it's like immediately after revealing the plan. He has agents in place that it basically have him under like surveillance, surveillance, oh, okay. and house arrest. Oh, okay. Fine, I surrender. I'm sorry for what I put you all through. That includes you, Alvin. Uh, I. That's really not necessary. Oh, Alvin being bashful. Oh, by the way, after this, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of conversations I don't listen to, mm. and I. The moment that I'm like, oh yeah, I listen to a couple conversations, is at the very end of the game where the only two people in my party are Jude and Mila, and I realize I can't listen to the conversations. <laughs> See, that's why I always listen to skits as soon as I get them. They're a Tales series staple. They're probably one of my favorite ways of adding like party interactions because it's like. Otherwise, in a, in an generally in an RPG, you have to like make a cutscene to like have the party to have, to show meaningful you know party yeah. interactions for yeah. like 
character dynamics and stuff. Uh, but then they, but then uh, way, way the, the skits come from way back from the original Tales game where they were like, well, we don't have a lot, so we're just gonna like throw the character's face in a portrait and then have text on the screen, and then we won't have to make a full cut scene out of it. We can just have these character interactions and save money. It's a win win, and it was just such a good way of doing it that they did it for all of them. Yeah. I, I like the idea of skits way more than I like the... I like the implementation of skits way more than I like the implementation of some uh, social links and personas. Oh, so, like, you, you just like the, oh, look, this is... This is how the characters interact, as opposed to going through this whole quest of this char- this person evolving as a character, which ultimately means nothing in the main story. Well, you know, if you max out a social link, they show up to cheer you on. But even if oh, you no, have- I'm referring to the one where Ryuji, or where Ryuji uh, learns how to be a better person, but then it doesn't actually mean anything in the game, or in the, in the actual story. Yeah... It, it's definitely worse in Persona 4, because remember, even if you... Dojima's social link is explicitly about him being a more responsible father to Nanako, and he still leaves her home alone when he shouldn't. No matter what. You can max him out so early, and he'll still have the same schedule. I like... And then, especially that part at, in November, you know, when the thing happens, and he still leaves her home alone, and you could have his your one hundred percent level ten max bond unbreakable trust, and he'll still not believe you about the thing you're trying to tell him. Yeah, the uh, you know who does it? You know who does a good job of it? Hmm. Tokyo Mara session, because all all the all the character growths uh, cause them to be like better at their at their jobs Mm -hmm. not necessarily better as people even though sometimes sometimes it helps them be better as people uh and also just to keep just to keep them from breaking the story they'll have they'll have like they'll have like literal uh, like have the things be locked uh by story progression by story progression that's uh they sort of do something like that in a Zillia 2, where the main character can social link with the other characters, kind of, sort of, but they're all just extra scenes. They're, they're, they all basically amount to extra side missions that are that are available between chapters. Uh, you don't have to do them, but there is incentive to do, the, do it, uh, because if you get the bond points for the character, they'll give you extra, they'll give you new attacks and new abilities, and eventually, if you max out their bond, you get a uh, a new mi- you get a tag team mystic art with that character, uh, and then it also gives you money for for clearing out the mission. And the money is important because Zillia too has a paywall, an in universe paywall. The main character cannot do things unless he gives the debt collectors enough money, up to and including taking the train back home. When he's stuck in another city. Literally one of the first things that... The first thing that happens when you acquire your massive yeah, you, debt. Yeah, you, I think you've already explained this. Yeah. Just one of the first things that happens is... Oh, we can't let you use the train because you have a massive debt. And you could use that train to go in, to go places. So we can't let you use the train. But I want to I wanna go home. I have to, I have to go home. Uh... When you were talking to me, or when you explained it the first time, I remember being like, oh, that's really cool. They use it as a means to introduce a mechanic. And then you told me that... It was so dumb. It's you you so... told me the dumb part was the, the fact that the uh, his you... hometown is literally like one screen over from where you're doing quest at. Basically, yeah. That's, what ma- that, that's the reason I don't like that. Yeah. Trust me. It is, that is definitely a big hindrance on it. That... So the game won't let you go to certain places if you if you haven't acquired the paywall. And if you just try to walk there, they'll just say, oh, you can't go this way. Like, like soldiers will be there or some shit. Yeah, 
hackers were using calculatrix without spyrixes. Impossible. Impossible. What's that? Spirit arts produced using spyrixes. <laughs> the attackers didn't need them. I think we know who they are. Yeah. Sounds like Gaius is already making it. Basically, we just have to go and beat people up again. Let's go murder some people. Let's go murder people. It'll be great. 